Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolfie's Life. Sorry it's been a while since I've uploaded. I've had kids that have been sick and it's just not been fun. Been crazy busy here, but now we're gonna jump into it. And this video is a special one. It's where you should be planning to be within a week of the game, and it is completing all those foundation ones. So first of all, we're gonna do the marking matchups. Just get those out of the way. We've got the first road to knockout in at the moment, which is a fantastic thing to get. And if you can cut one of those, game changing for you. And I hope you guys do. This is all pre-recorded, so I kind of know what I'm going to be getting, but I'm not going to be fake acting and go, yay! Whatever card it is, so I'm not that kind of person. I don't go buy videos like some YouTubers have done in the past, just to get rewards um, and just to see people and clickbait and get views. Nothing like that at all. So we've got Roast Knockout Challenge 1 completed. That's a premium gold pack. And then it's just those mar marquee matchups. This video is a long one. It's about 18 minutes long, so it's going to show you how to do the foundations. So you're going to have your nations hybrid, your hybrid leagues and nation, and then your leagues as well. So it's really good that you get these done early, and then you can hopefully use this team to get better better in rivals, get better rewards in rivals, better finishing in squad battles, and ultimately get that top 10 finish in foot champs. First of all, we don't get anything to start with, which is a bit of a shame. We're still hoping to get all the Arsenal boys. I'm not going to uh, buy any of them except for like the really big ones and the defensive ones um, to build like a big Arsenal team. Like if I get the coins, on Henri, Petit, Ashley Cole, they're the players that I will have to go and buy. The rest I'm hopefully just going to pack so I can involve them. I have first owners on them. It's a bit gutting that I don't have them yet. Um, but we are slowly building towards that and where we can get to that. So this one's the team of the week. I want to say walk out, send them here. Oh yeah, from the Saudi League. So that's Nunez as well. I think that's going to be a dupe, if memory serves me correctly. Not the greatest player to get, but yeah, again, it's 86, high rated, in form, that you're going to need to complete some of these big SPCs down the road. Well, now he's not actually a dupe, so that does tell you one thing that I do pack him on later on in the series. At the moment, the series, I'm trying to keep up to date as quick as I can. But with a family and a work-life balance, it's not the most easiest. So guys, I do appreciate anyone that's following this. If you do click these videos, please do leave us a like. Please leave us a thumbs up. Be much appreciated. I just do these for fun. Not trying to make money, but any comments, anything you want to see would be much appreciated. So we've still got a fair decent amount of coins, 79,000. We've still got a Bandite that we could sell. He's going to be coming into the team a lot more, I think. Just because he's a solid defender and who's this bonny face that's not a bad card to be getting definitely one that you should be keeping hold of some of these low rate cards because you could evolve them and there will be some challenges that you need players for later on down the road so like at the moment we've got this, the spain tour you're probably gonna get the german tour the french tour english tour and keeping some of these cards will help you complete objectives down there so rare mixed players pack I think this was all from matchup, marquee matchup. So walkout centre back, Brazilian League One. That is Marquinhos. So that's an 87 rated. Not a bad card to be getting from marquee matchup at all. So a player like that, he's not going to hit the squad yet because he just doesn't link into the club. But yet again, marquee match, um, not marquee matchup. Any future SBCs, that's a card that you definitely want to be able to throw in there and get that rating up there. So don't discard them. You can, you've got this duplicate storage now so guys no excuse not to do it so this is how we're lined up at the moment like we've got Van Dyke in there I thought I'd bring in Barzella and then obviously Varane and then a cheap right Italian forward there just to make sure that I get full cam not a bad squad Gabriel Martin Martinelli is fantastic Robertson's all right goalkeeper definitely needs changing but that is a very starter squad and as you tell, it's only a couple of days into this game that I've been playing, so we've had squad battle awards on this, one lot of rival awards, which is fantastic for the support I had on that, over 100 views, I can't really fault that at all. Palmer, he's a bit slow for me, but he's not bad. Trossard, definitely a good player there. Morella there, definitely first owner, untradeable, but he's around 60k this time, which is not bad to be getting as an untradeable, and I think I've got like out 77 times too. Um, Van Dyke is Van Dyke. He's always going to be a great defender. Um, but yeah, Ricardo there, just to get the chemistry. That's all it truly was. We don't know if this is going to be the team that I use for champs. 
Uh, there probably will be a lot more changes because you still have one lot of rival awards to come out, one lot of squad battle awards to come out, all before the first lot of champs kick, kick off. So that, for me, is a solid start. So that's why I thought, you know what, let's go into these foundations now. Complete them off camera, but not submitted them. So then obviously you can just see the packs. You can take it from this. You can use Footbin, Foot GG. We're just going to get them all. So we're going to start off with the hybrid leagues. Really simple, and these are so simple to do. First squad, full French, and you're done. That was it. Max, but just make sure you've got a max in the lease. This is also a cool feature. Double check any of the prices that EA have said that they are. I don't think they're as up to date as what they are saying there because that's a 4K card, but he's not a 4K card. I don't know if they do it by when they sell or what people have actually listed like the minimum amount. So he might say 4K because that's what his minimum amount people are listening in for. This card, 2K, give or take, that's pretty correct. But this is just a cool way to make sure that you're not throwing away a high rated card. So please, please check your cards before you submit. This video, like I said, is a huge long one, um, but it's key. This is what you do at the very start of FIFA. Get in these foundations, hopefully pack something really good for it so you can actually change your team around, and that's what I wanted to tell you. Some of these cards I got on this definitely are making my team, but others aren't, but it's just a good way to actually build the bank, help you complete matchups, and it is, it's, these videos start with almost boring. As soon as these are out of the way, we're going to be on to Viral Rewards, Squad Battle Rewards, Foot Chap Rewards, where the team's going, how to progress, tactics of the game, gameplay. But right now, the team is very basic. But at the same time, there's not many special cards out at the moment, not many big promotions out at the moment. So anything you've got are going to be star gold players. They're going to feel slow and sluggish in game. Because at the moment, everyone is so used to FIFA 24, where everyone had 99 cards, 99 tier, I mean, 99 Harland. Zidane, you know, the full works, everyone had those, they turned well, they dribbled well, passed well, now you're just getting dead passes, and you've got to relearn the tactics, relearn the game, relearn everything from the ground upwards, and that's what it is, so this one, there's Hybrid Leagues completed, we get a rare mega pack for completing the overall, we got a 50k pack in there, the five packs, can we change the team, also milestones, we completed two, so transfer, we bought players for this, that's 1500 coins into the bank, that's why our coins have depleted just a little bit, and we also complete the 75, just completing 10 SBCs. So get these done, get those rewards up. Um, level 5 overall for seasons, it's going to be a while before those go up. No, my coins stayed the same, 79, didn't have to buy too many, but through this whole lot, I did buy a lot of players. Not a lot, just a few, just to actually um, complete it. Hernandez there, I was going to submit him, I thought I needed to, but I didn't, so. He's now a dupe, so he'll just be sold later on down the line. We're going to start off with the 75 times 2. This is just completing 10 SBCs, no walkout. Goalkeeper, Turkish from the Saudi League, not really going to make the team. But we do pick ourselves up a team of the week there, which is quite a nice 80 rated left back. Don't get rid of these just because you want quick 10k to start the game. Don't get rid of them, keep them because later on. They will go higher and higher. Like I think they were, team of the weeks were averaging around 30k in um, EAFC 24. So they are they do hold the value. But also if you are doing squad battles, which are two games a day on world class level, you're always going to pick up a team of the week because you should be getting elite one for that. Me, I think I've always finished around elite two and three at the moment. I just haven't pushed the legendary because my team's just not good enough. And I don't know how to beat the AI yet, so it's very hard for me to actually get decent finish. CDM, Dutch, Premier League, don't think that's going to be anyone that's going to be great. That's from Brighton. And who is that? No, he's already a dupe, so still all of that. Keep it all, and then Weffer. That will go to dupe file for later, so we can complete some gold upgrades. Anything at all. Mega pack, right, where are we at now? Come on. Let's see a walkout. It is a walkout. Seems to be so long since so I've done it. And here it is. Martinez. That's a fantastic card for us. Goalkeeper. Huge upgrade to the team. 87 rated goalkeeper. And we get Gabriel. First double walkout on this series. Which is fantastic. Cannot fault that at all. Uh, and Endrick there as well. He is a fantastic card. Everyone's using him to Evo at the moment. So he's around 10 for 
not doing those. Evos for me are personal. They're going to be just for Arsenal players, just to make them a lot better. But at the same time, I'm only Evoing first owners. So it's going to take me a while before I actually get A, them packed, B, then I can Evo them. Because, and I think what I'm going to do for this series is wait and if there's an Evo I want to do on a certain player and it's be, it's going to expire in two days and it's a free one, I'm just going to go buy that player and Evo him up that way. And then hopefully you can then Evo him later on for a better Evo. But either way, we're just going to have to do that as a judgment call. But I think that's the only way I'm going to do it because I don't want to miss out on Evos. But at the same time, I want to make sure that they are first owners. Well. And this player, uh, Barani, is the most common 83 that I've actually packed ever in my life. I think I packed him. I have no idea how many times now, four or five times, he's just out there all the time. Rare players pack, can we end on a banger? And this one, I don't know what, this is a rate to knock out, but it's not the big ones. German, Bundesliga, and it's our first one that we actually do pack, which is quite nice. So from one of the foundations, we pack one, we get a little there, 86 from Arsenal, which is fantastic. And who's that? Koch, 86. Don't know how they're doing at the moment, but it's a live card and John Stone as well. So for me, that's a win. From one SBC lot of completing out of the three, we get one live card and that's fantastic. He's only around 20k, but he'll probably go to an 87 and that's just fodder for me. 87 is good. I'm hoping that they do bring in the exchange soon because that would be quite nice to see, but that's what it is. Right. Moving on, where do we get from here? So, transfer list, just see what we're done. We've got Robertson there, we sold that for 3k, and then nothing else really there. Our transfer list is full. Anything we're just going to relist, and if not, we're just going to discard it. So, coins go up and down a little bit here. So, we go straight to hybrid nations, really simple. This was for Premier League with mixed nations. And I did double check that I used an individual league per each one so then we didn't discard and have to go on the market and search for that player and buy him so it's really smooth. This full Italian league, really simple. Make sure you got a few different nations in there and the odd club to get that strong link as well. Then we went full French league, simple yet again, double check those players as well, those prices. Nothing there above 650 coins which is fantastic. Next, which league do I go with next? I think it's Spanish league, I want to say. Yeah, into Spanish league. Uh, one card I had to buy there, which was around 3k. Nothing too expensive, so that's quite a nice, simple, and easy way to do that. We get a rare mega pack for the overall, I want to say. Hybrid Nations, yeah, rare mega pack, a rare pack, prime gold, loads of different packs in there. Fingers crossed we can get something that's going to hit our team and make a difference. Gold pack. One player, election players pack, one guaranteed, yeah, nothing there. Henry, left back, not going to make the squad. Pure fodder, everything is fodder for me um, at this moment in time. Trying to get something big, going to make the team. Gold players pack, one rare, and it is a road to knockout. One of these was rare, remember that, one rare. Left wing, that's going to be Lang, I want to say, from the Netherlands League, which PSB, I think they won one, or they lost both their games, but... We would say that's our first road to knock out from completing these, which I think is fantastic. Can't fault that at all. And then, yeah, we'll see going for 25k. So it's not going to break the bank, and it's not like the player that I will start the team with. I might go and use him just to complete the objectives. We have played 10 games with Netherlands players. Um, no from the Netherlands League. Prime next. No walkout, centre mid, Spanish from the Spanish league, La Liga, um, Barcelona. There we go, Gabby, 83. Definitely not a big player, but needless to say, I can't really fault that at all. Definitely a lot, a lot of players going to squad, which is fantastic. Well, squad, I say club more than anything. So, Red Mega Pack, is it a walkout? Yes, it was a walkout. Uh, goalkeeper Suma, that is. That's not a bad card because that's 87 rating, I want to say he is. Or, yeah, 87. That definitely helps with future fodder. There he is coming in doing a diving save. And no Arsenal boys yet at all. We have had nice shadow card to go there. Get rid of all this junk. I don't want this in the club. 
just quick sell it, even though I don't get any coins for it, just get rid of it. And the sum of that 85 rated. And then a rare players pack. And it's our second road to knockout card. Who's this one? Striker, English, Premier League. That is going to be Watkins. And that's a fantastic card to get at the moment. And Swanson, two high rated cards there, which is good. What's it? Watkins, I think, is around 80, 90k, give or take on market. So, Aston Villa, will they finish top two? No. Will he get all the goals and win three in all the remaining games? I reckon so. So, he'll be an 89 rated card, which is good. English boy, keep that in the squad. Not an Arsenal player, but yet again, we're happy with that. So, competing, what was that? Hybrid leagues, two roads knockouts, one of the other knockout cards as well in the first set. So for me, this is the perfect time to do it. Now we're going to jump into the hybrid league and nations. And here we go. Right, this one was a mix of three different leagues. Simple enough to do. Rare mixed players there. This one was just three nations. So yeah, one random off league, Spanish and Portuguese. Simple as you like. Premium gold pack there. Next one, this one. Can't even think of what leagues they were, just pause it, refresh it, copy, paste it, do what you want for it, that's a simple puzzle. This is a tricky one, and I think, yeah, I did have to go and put another friend, so I did reuse it. So, French League, West Ham, have to get some perfect links in there. Can't remember what I used here now, a uh, Spanish player, was it going to get rid of it? I can't remember now. Yeah, there we go, get rid of you, done. Rare Mega Pack. Happy days, Gabby. Back to you. You've already been used to solve the puzzle. I can't really complain. And that's League and Nations hybrid done. We get rare mega packs. So two rare mega packs there. We pack two road to knockouts or three. I can't remember right now, but I'm happy. This is this is great. The squad's going to look fantastic. I'm just ashamed though that they changed all of these packs for untradeable. Mega pack, anything. No walkout. CDM. Portuguese from the Bundesliga. I want to say that's uh, no, don't even know now. Paulinho, I want to say. Just get rid of all these badges, all these kits. So that's a spare 85. Yep, yeah. I'm happy with that. He goes straight to the club. Well, dupes. Uh, premium gold players pack. Walkouts, no walkouts. So it's been quite a while since I've recorded this and I uh, can't remember what I actually got. Walkins, I definitely remember packing. That was fantastic. Still nothing there. Into dupes. Right. Come on. Something decent now. Rare mega pack, rare mega pack, and a rare mixed player pack. Walk out. No walk out. Looks female. Right wing. Some people, someone saying she's saying really high value. Uh, say maximum has got an SBC up. Excuse me right now. Add our there as well, which is quite a nice card to get. Two rare mega packs. Nothing there, no walkout, centre mid, Spanish league, Bundesliga, can't, no, definitely a load of dupes and a load of stuff which is going to be kept in the squad, right, and then the final pack to end this video off, ends with a road to knockout card, uh, centre mid, Dutch, that is De Jong, De Jong I can't remember now, right, they're not going to go far, but I don't know, Van der Beek as well. So that's a fantastic card to get. But guys, if you have enjoyed this and I will show you the squads in the next one with some rewards, please do leave us a like below, hit that thumbs up as well. Be much appreciated. Sorry this video went on a while, but it's all done and dusted now. Rewards to come. Here we go. Take care. Bye now.